Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Ripple, as well as Tether's bank may potentially fail. Also, uh, I will talk about Bank Call 3D is now available in Mid.1 wallet. Just in case you're new to the channel, just to remind everybody that EOSBet is having an interactive airdrop. So in order to qualify for this airdrop, you have to play the game. You can uh, play the dice now, and then you can uh, roll the dice and play the game. Uh, this only works in Chrome browser, and then you have to log in with your scatter wallet as well. So as a EOSBet token holder, you are going to get uh, some payout at the end of this year. So most of the gambling platform, they don't share profit, but this uh, platform, they're going to share some profit. They're going to give some uh, dividends at the end of the year. And once you play the game, you're going to get the EOS bet token right away. It will send automatically to your EOS wallet. So the next, if you're interested, you can click the link below that will help out my channel. Also, my wish is having an airdrop. And the snapshot will be on October 16, and the airdrop day will be on October 16 as well. So this is basically um, first EOS smart contract. Um, basically, you can just create your first smart contract on the EOS platform. And I created a video about this EOS uh, smart contract yesterday. You can check back in detail about this uh, Project. This is a pretty good project compared to a lot of projects uh, on the EOS platform. And also Tribe is also having an airdrop. Tribe is basically like a, just like Steam, in, um, but this is on a EOS platform. And on December 11, they're going to have an airdrop. So basically, this is based on how many um, Tribe token you have in your EOS account. So the more Tribe token you have, the more airdrop that you're going to get. You can also get the tribe token from the DEX EOS exchange and the new DEX exchange. Those are the decentralized EOS exchange. You can uh, check it out. If you're interested, you can also click the link below. That will help out my channel. Also, Murmur is having an airdrop as well. Airdrop day will be October 12th. And this is like a micro-blogging uh, decent uh, decentralized platform. And you can... Uh, control your personal data as well as you can monetize your data as well. So uh, before we get into that, make sure uh, you subscribe to my channel. And um, also, um, if you already subscribe, make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop, token swap, or um, uh, ICO because those are uh, very time sensitive. Also, you can uh, follow me on Twitter as well. So let's get into it. So let's talk about Ripple first. So Ripple, basically, I talked about uh, Ripple uh, probably last Wednesday. So let's see. So I created a video last Wednesday about Swell, which is the conference on October 1st in San Francisco Bay Area. And at the time, uh, I talked about that there will be buy the rumor and sell the news. And this is exactly what happened on uh, on the September 26th. I said there will be probably a potential pump up until the conference or maybe before the conference, just like consensus, right? So you can pump all the way before the conference and then uh, they just dump it on the day of conference or even earlier or even before a day a little bit earlier. So they pump all the way until Sunday and then I think Sunday uh, evening they're going to dump again and then they pump again. And then at the end, they're going to dump anyway. So this is basically buy the rumor, sell the news, just be careful. So I talked about that on uh, last Wednesday about Ripple. And also another thing is right now, if you go to the Big Max, uh, this is a Big Max liquidation bot. Right now, they're liquidating long on uh, XRP, Ripple. Basically, uh, when they liquidating long, that means they sell Ripple. Liquidating long on Ripple, sell Ripple, liquidating long on Ripple, sell Ripple. So they're, they're basically liquidating the long position and sell Ripple. And uh, let's talk about Ripple XRP, the X-Rabbit uh, for commercial use. This is a payment system. So um, they announced in the conference XRP, uh, the uh, X-Rabbit is already available. Uh, actually, they already uh, did some pilot testing already uh, 
for some company and Mercury FX Catalyst and Catalyst Corporate Federal Credit Union they all um, participate in this uh, X Rabbit. So basically, X Rabbit uh, they allow financial institution to send cross border transaction in an instant with significant cost saving compared to tr traditional ways of doing business. So tradition uh, traditional way of doing business is basically. You uh, have to wire the money overseas and then it will take a few days depending on the country, uh, maybe one or two days before you get the money. Also, you have high transaction costs as well. And with the X Rabbit, you eliminate the need, um, you eliminate high cost of transfer the money uh, cross border um, transaction. It, uh, it lowers the fees as well. Also, you eliminate the need for a pre-funded uh, account when executing a cross-border payment system. It also sources liquidity from um, Ripple on exchange around the world. As a result, cross-border transactions occur in minutes at a lower cost compared to traditional method, which take days and also have a higher front transaction fee. So, uh, Mercury FX and Carlix, they also participate in the pilot phase uh, earlier this year for uh, XRabbit and they saw the uh, of course they saw immediate result in speed and cost savings Mercury FX uh, will deploy XRabbit in Europe to Mexico corridor and then uh, Carlux uh, they're going to um, focus on the US to Mexico uh, area and also Catalyst Corporate Federal Credit Union uh, it was a wholesale cooperative financial institution that served more than 1,400 members and client credit union throughout the United States. Uh, they also use XRabbit on behalf of their members to create new cross-border payment services. So this is pretty good for the mainstream adoption uh, because right now you can send money uh, overseas uh, at a lower cost and uh, rather than using an old system which is very slow and all that. Uh, nevertheless, Ripple is a very centralized uh, uh, cryptocurrency and it is a banker's token. Uh, the next stop we're going to talk about Tedas, um, one of the bank, uh, Noble Bank in Puerto Rico. They lose the clients of Tether and Big Finance and then they are looking for buyers right now. So one of the Tether's bank, um, they basically they, they are potentially fail or maybe potentially insolvent as well. So uh, Puerto Rico uh, Noble Bank International, which is known for reportedly open accounts for US back token tether and crypto exchange big finance, is allegedly uh, allergic sorry, is allegedly searching for a buyer uh, on Thursday. So they are planning to sell uh, because uh, Bloomberg reported that Noble Bank has lost Tether and Big Finance as client and is currently searching for a buyer. They are planning to sell for 5 to 10 million, which is uh, mostly formed by the value of its um, Puerto Rico license. Is, I think the 5 to 10 million is for the banking license. And this is uh, also, also uh, Wells Fargo. Uh, they Basically, back in 2017, they dropped Tether and Big Finance as their customer. And then uh, also the two entities also reportedly, remember last year they got subpoena from the U.S. regulator. Um, and Tether and Big Finance were looking for other banks when Noble, one of the only two full reserve banks in Puerto Rico that publicly operate with cryptocurrency. And they has uh, emerged as a possible option according to the Big Max uh, report. Also, Tether and, uh, had broken ties with their auditor in January 2018 with an unofficial audit of Tether in June reported that stablecoin had enough in dollar reserve to bank, uh, to bank its token. And uh, Boomer also noted that no Noble was audited by Puerto Rico's bank's regulator last year. And basically, the regulator, regulator uh, make, I think they have a remarks, they raised concern about uh, the bank and then um and but the bank has not been fought publicly and uh also um so be because uh in Puerto Rico um 
there's a lot of tax-free options. Uh, US, ta US taxpayer, they don't have to pay income income from sources within the Puerto Rico and their tax uh, in their tax declarations. And then the US, uh, the IRS and the local island authority were expected to intervene in the situation uh, because you can get uh, billions from the crypto taxation. Also, right now, uh, 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 Gemini already uh, launched their stable coin, uh, Gemini Dollar, and then they have a pick, and and also there's a Pixos, uh, uh, Pixos, Pixos uh, standard coin. Those are backed by one by uh, one to one with the USD. I mean, to me, uh, I talk about Tether, Tether a long time ago that I will not touch Tether with, with a 10, 10 feet pole. So. Uh, I already made uh, my statement long, long time ago. I don't trust Ted at all because to me it's a little bit shady and uh, and everything. So just be careful out there. And um, so I would rather use stable coin like Gemini Dollar or some other uh, stable coin instead of uh, Gemini Dollar. Uh, uh, I mean instead of the Ted. So I don't trust Ted to begin with. Uh, I, I think I made this uh, statement long, long time ago. And also, uh, Bank of 3D now is available on mid dot in the mid dot one wallet. So let's look and see how this work out. Well, basically you can uh play uh the Bank of uh, 3D, and you have to log in with the mid dot one wallet, and then you can play the game. Uh, basically you just I think you just uh my computer is a little bit uh overheat right now, so. Anyway, um, so maybe in the next video I will show you this, uh, how you play this game, I guess. So, but it's available, the Bangkok 3D game is now available in mid one Wallet. So, uh, if you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to my channels and also smash the like button and share with your friends. Also comment below, that will help my ranking in YouTube. And I will continue to provide a quality video for you guys. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. So if you have already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop token swap. Those are very time sensitive. And I hope you guys did the token swap for Meet Dot One Wallet and also Kios uh, token as well. Those are transferred from ERC20 token. I think I talked about those token swap probably a month ago before the actual deadline. And I also talk about uh, five days before the actual deadline. So you shouldn't miss it if you watch this channel. And um, remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor investing in cryptocurrency or ICO has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.